So my name is Kimber McLeod. I'm a professor of communication studies at the University of Iowa. I write books and I make documentaries and make media more generally. <laughs> I get lots of practical questions like how much of X can I use of someone else's sound or whatever. So I get asked a lot of legal questions about copyright and fair use and most of the time I'm actually able to answer them. I'm not an attorney, I'm not a lawyer, I didn't go to law school, but I've spent since the early 90s studying this stuff and I know especially sound recording copyright and fair use kind of like the back of my hand. <laughs> no, I don't have any capital P process and I don't have any favorite locations. Although I do like when I have the time working in coffee shops, especially Prairie Lights uh, Coffee Shop, which is a local bookstore that has a cafe space where a lot of writers write. And I've been, I've written most of my books, a big chunk of them in Prairie Lights, but I can also work in my office here or at home. Um, so no, I have no real constraints. Basically, I'm, I'm just trying to fit in as much work as I can in the tiny amount of work time that I have that's not eaten up by administrative duties and other such things. There's no one particular thing that I go to or the thing that I do to recharge my creative batteries. Um, I think partially because I work in so many different mediums and forms. Um, books, articles, films, uh, short uh, audiovisual pieces, all kinds of things, uh, uh, visual media. Um, I, you know, I draw, I'm an, il an illustrator. And so I think the thing that actually recharges my batteries is just cycling through all these different forms and mediums that I work in. There's nothing I hate more than using the same word twice, uh, aside from an article like the or whatever. Um, it, yeah, in, you know, a, a two paragraph uh, space. No, I, I think the last thing that I haven't really worked on that I have a background in is illustration and this modest proposal graphic novel type book. Um, and I feel like I've done a fairly good job of working across lots of different forms. I guess I could always return to the theater. I, I had a long run of working when I was much younger in the theater, everything from acting to stage managing to directing. So I directed high school play version of the classic film Harold and Maude, which the scene opens up with the main character hanging from a noose, which caused a lot of gasps to erupt from the high school auditorium when I directed it. It's a very classic black comedy. Everyone should see that film if they haven't. So I guess maybe theater is the one last thing that I haven't really tapped yet. <laughs> I don't see writing as spiritual at all, but I'm not a spiritual person at all. I approach writing from a craftsperson perspective. To me, it's just labor, it's work, it's hard work. Uh, just like filmmaking, just like, um, you know, uh, the visual arts, illustrating and, and so on. You know, it takes a lot of practice, just a lot of work to get good at it. And so, no, there's absolutely nothing spiritual for me about writing. It's, it's, it's a craft. It's, it's labor. I feel like anyone can be a writer. And if they just work hard at it and practice and you just get it wrong so much of the time and you eventually not even find your voice, but you just find a way where you become more comfortable at writing and you just get better and better and better at the craft. But I think anyone can be a writer and it just takes the hard work um, of doing it. And it is a lot of hard work, but it can also be really rewarding. Mm -hmm.